Hey guys, so I just wanted to share with you some of the feelings that I've been having after this um, third week of school because tomorrow we will be starting the fourth week of school and it's kind of hard to believe that we've been in school for almost a month already. Um, it's just crazy to think that, you know, we're already almost a month through school. But anyway, um, I have been having a lot of thoughts about like, did I make the right decision by choosing to work in special education? Um, don't get me wrong, like I definitely absolutely love my job and it's given me a whole new outlook on a lot of different things in my life, life in general, like things that I might want to do in the future. And I will talk about all of those things like in future videos on my channel, but mainly there have also been things that I have been really struggling with um, <clears throat> in terms of different interactions with my students and interactions with other staff members and just kind of some of the things that have happened since I started working at the school. And like I said, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my job. I love being there for the students. I love watching them learn something new. I love watching their curiosity and the way that they interact with the world. But on the other hand, it's also very difficult to like see um, things like potential child abuse situations and like trying to learn <clears throat> how to deal with behaviors of students, like students with more disciplinary behavioral problems and trying to work through those issues on a daily basis. And also just trying to like adjust to a new workplace in general. Um, like obviously I have seen certain things that really unsettled me working as a CNA, um, just kind of like how kids treat their parents or their grandparents, how certain people have had to deal with a lot of crazy things over their lifetime that may have contributed to why they were in the nursing home. But it's different when you're dealing with like three, four and five year olds. And it's just really like disturbing. And like, I have to say the first couple of weeks of school for me, like still a little bit now, but the first couple of weeks of school for me were very overwhelming. Like I have definitely developed some skills to work with my students and things like that. But it also kind of scares me like the fact that we in the special ed realm don't get a whole lot of support from general education teachers. Sometimes we don't get very much support from like administration and that's kind of scary to see because um, like as a paraprofessional, this is my very first paraprofessional job ever and I walked in with like no training. The second day of school or no, the first day of school without students, um, like when we were doing our professional development week before school started for the students um, is when I actually found out like what classroom I was gonna be in. And you know, it was just like, I feel like everything was kind of thrown together at the last second. And then like kindergarten is crazy this year. And two of the students that I work with in the afternoons as far as like intervention and inclusion, um, they are in the kindergarten, they're at the kindergarten level, and kindergarten is very crazy, like the school that I work at is developing a different kindergarten program because they feel like, you know, it's not safe to keep all of these kindergarten, kindergarten students with behavioral problems in the same class. They don't feel like it's safe, like, the one kindergarten teacher said that the first week of school, like kids were jumping off of tables, they were climbing ladders, they were doing a whole bunch of stuff that like, usually by the time kids get to kindergarten, they listen more. Like, it's just been a very big struggle. And I personally feel like some of that might have to do with like COVID as far as like 
kids maybe not being in like early childhood settings like preschool or daycare not being able to really interact with other kids their age or kind of learn those basic um, things like how to share um, things like that and I've just like I've worked with a few kids over the last few weeks that have had a lot of like anger issues when it comes to sharing like trying to pull toys out of the other one's hand, hitting each other, screaming at each other, screaming in general, if they don't get their way. Like, <clears throat> I realize that a lot of these things are things that happen with that age. Like, especially, like I said, if they haven't learned these skills from the get-go um, or haven't learned these skills at all, but it is very scary to think, you know, that these kids, I mean, I'm sure a lot of them are gonna end up having to be in kindergarten next year. And like, it's just kind of scary to see like, cause like I said, I do think COVID had a lot to do with that because, you know, a, a couple years ago, these kids, I mean, it's 2022 now. So if it was 2021, 2020, you know, even 2019, COVID started. Um, so, you know, these past three years, you're talking about like the best formative years before school starts and they haven't really had as much ability to interact with other kids their age as like, say I did. Um, when I was, you know, three, four and five, two, three, four, five, um, I went to a daycare and I got to interact with other kids my age. I was reading before I went to kindergarten. Um, you know, I learned like my phonics, alphabet, numbers. And a lot of these kindergartners now, they don't have like even the basic alphabet. Um, so I've been trying to work with my students and it makes it difficult because I know that I am in the room to assist the students that I am supposed to be assisting but at the same time I see so many other students in the classroom that really need assistance as well and they're not receiving those services um, so I've just had a lot on my mind in terms of that and just kind of like did I make the right decision should I have just stayed in the medical field because I've seen so many things like you see a lot when you work in a public school and you know, it really makes you think about life differently. It makes you think about a lot of things differently. And like I said, don't get me wrong. I definitely love what I do. I love my coworkers. And, you know, I work with a lot of great people. It's just very unsettling at times. Like some of the things that you have to see on a daily basis and some of the behaviors that are really, really difficult to deal with that I have never like, even when I was in high school, none of my classmates exhibited these same behaviors that I'm seeing now. Um, there were students in my class that did have anger issues, but I feel like they weren't as severe as some of these kids that are in school now. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to like vent to you guys a little bit and share like some of the things that I'm struggling with in my mind as we're going into this fourth week of school um so yeah thank you for listening if you guys have any questions about my job what I do um pre-med anything like that please let me know I'd be glad to get something filmed for you and with that being said I will talk to you guys next time